Hello my friends, we are here today at Sea Breeze Amusement Park and <laughs> they weren't kidding about the name, there is quite the breeze here and it is helping because it is hot, it's about 90 something today and uh, I guess it's going to be a particularly windy <laughs> vlog but right behind me is Bobsled which is a pretty unique coaster that I need to look up and learn a little bit about before I get on there but there's a total of four coasters in the park and we're going to get them all in today a lot of cool little uh, notes of history and stuff all around here. I think we got to hit up the carousel for sure, uh, but I invite you to come along. Let's get this started. So here is our first stop, the bobsleds, which dates back from 1954, which I don't know what kind of track it was, but I read that they replaced it with steel tubular track not too long ago. Has a sort of mini Matterhorn type of vibe. Uh, let's get on this thing. All right, so bobsled. That was actually kind of fun. I was surprised how smooth it was versus something like the, the way it looks, I felt like it was going to be rougher than it actually was. The layout is actually a lot of fun. I forget who the designer was on this, a Wagner or something like that. Um, but the one thing that was really surprising to see is that the walkway on the actual track is nothing more than a couple of two by fours or something like that. Like that is it, which is kind of terrifying. But this, this little coaster, that is a fun little family style coaster. If they had like slightly banked turns to like pep it up a little bit or something, this, you could take this design, modernize it and do so much with it. The other kind of funny thing that I noticed is that there were three different trains running. One was for the USA, one was for Switzerland, and then the last one was for uh, Jamaica, which I feel like somebody must have been watching Cool Runnings or something because weren't the Swiss like the villains in Cool Runnings or quote unquote the villains, but um, it's just those three, which is kind of hilarious to me. And also amazing. Just little touches like that for some reason hit me. Next up is Whirlwind, which I believe is a Mora spinner. Which, yeah, the ride vehicles are just like the ones in Laugh Track, actually. But it appears that these spin just a little bit more than the ones at Laugh Track, which is notorious for just kind of swaying from left to right. Just getting off of Whirlwind, and I counted about seven spins. I'm actually going to put up the, uh, the whole thing focus on one train and you see how many spins you guys count. So we're kind of walking out of this area, so I wanted to just point out some of the flats that they got here. They got one of these guys, Revolution 360 here. Um, then across the way here they have a Himalaya and, you know, one of these kitty spinning rides. But then down here, this is where they have the carousel, which I believe has a bit of a backstory to it. Wow, this thing is beautiful, oh my gosh. Oh, and they got some rocking chairs here. All right, let's sit down and talk about this beautiful carousel. <laughs> that Whirlitzer is very loud. I'm trying to see if I can hide next to this post to kind of deflect some of the sound. But anyway, back in the day, they had an old school PTC carousel. That's Philadelphia Toboggan Company. Unfortunately, it got lost to a fire. And this being, I think, a family-owned park, the Long family, perhaps. Uh, I've seen that name mentioned a couple of times. I just don't know how they got involved with the ownership. That's something they might uh, lay out in their website or on a on the wiki. But it caught fire, and they decided to build one in kind of the spirit of PTC. So a lot of uh, handmade stuff going on here. Maybe hand-carved uh, horses. I believe there were about four or five different horses from the original that were salvaged and put in here. But apparently they have uh, others that they, other carousels that they built for other parks. And this one is the ninth one. And so this is referred to as Seabreeze number nine or the Seabreeze carousel. 
This is a pretty amazing cutout, but they're so tiny that you can't really take a photo with them. Um, they have stuff about here from about the jackrabbit, which turned 100, I believe, last year. Yeah, the jackrabbit in 1920. We're heading over that way after this, but oh man, this is awesome. They have different designs here. The John A. Miller train, that is looking a little Spartan there. Oh my goodness. And then the Morgan train, which is what they're using today. And they had a third train, the NAD train, NAD train. Oh, that's wild. Here goes that beautiful Wurlitzer, right? I don't know if it's a Wurlitzer. Usually it says it pretty loud and proud that it's a Wurlitzer. <laughs> Old school horoscope reading. This is like such a good idea to include with their carousel. A bunch of history and stuff. Old signs here. They have this old lion that used to be in a carousel. They have this from the saltwater pool that they had, the natatorium. It was super popular back in the day. You guys, I will not do it justice unless I make it a whole separate video just about the history. But here's a George Longhorse. So it is the Long family. And they used to build carousels. Huh. Two of George Longhorses are found on the carousel behind you. Which ones are they? The two standing alongside the two chariots. Oh, I thought I was gonna be lucky. Oh, standing alongside the two chariots. So I guess that means one of these, this guy. And then there's one on the opposite side. I don't know what this is, but it's called the donkey in the gold mine. He has a load of good news and a gold brick for you. So it's like a fortune teller of some kind. Five cents, what is the deal? This is, this is a really cool little display here. I'm gonna quickly go through this. We're not gonna go through all the photos and stuff, but man, imagine this was your gig back in the day, hand carving all this stuff. Wow. Let's see, miscellaneous sea breeze stuff here. Cause they used to have like pretty big ax come through here, all types of things. Who is this? Ghost train tricks. Ah, they used to have a dark ride here called the ghost train. I think that's one of the things that got destroyed in a fire. All right, we are officially on the carousel and I'm looking for this guy right here. This is one of the originals. Our, that is so cool. We're gonna hurry up and get on so we don't delay the operator too long. Well, that was pretty awesome, in my opinion. I'm a sucker for a good carousel. Just the, all the design and ornateness and all that stuff and then the history that's involved with this one. That was great. If they have like one of those little historical books, I'm totally picking one up. Um, I, speaking of which, I haven't seen a merch shop at all. But I think we're gonna start heading our way to the other side of the park where Jackrabbit is because it was mentioned a lot there. It, there's not too much left. There's just the kitty coaster. I think it's called Bear Tracks and then Jackrabbit. The area I'm walking in does have all of these different like boardwalk games or midway games that you can play. And this kind of caught my eye, the Screaming Eagle. I want to kind of see it operate. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do. So that ride was interesting, but walking away from the midway there, we got the Seabreeze Flyers, it's awesome. Always love seeing a Flyers ride. And here is the Time Machine, which I think a lot of you who have followed along with my Jersey Shore will have seen this in different iterations, like Moby Dick and an old school Tilt-A-Whirl up ahead. But then to the left here, we have the 1920 original Jackrabbit. Well, not original because it had fires and was rebuilt, but amazing that this train, the station looks just like it might have been back in the day. This is so cool. Now this is a cool photo op that they have. The finally 48 inches. They should do this at other parks where a kid gets a photo op when they're tall enough to ride like the big ride. That is so cool. Now before we get on to Jackrabbit though, I'm gonna head over to Bear Tracks and take care of that one real quick. Which it's, you know, your typical little junior coaster. I like this bear. <laughs> I like this bear a lot. Look at that guy. 
<laughs> he's just got this face. Um, one thing I did not point out about Whirlwind is that it opens at noon. The park opens at 11, but only bobsleds was operating when I got here. I had to wait a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna get on this, and then I do like how they have right across from the kitty coaster the <laughs> big boy coaster, the jackrabbit. I don't usually get to narrate on the train at the station, but just wanted to point out how old school this ride is. This is how you operate it with this series of levers. It's pretty crazy. This one, I think, is how the operator used it to bring it into the station. I'm not sure what all of them do. One of you out there probably knows, but check out this train. I don't think I've seen a train like this before. All right, so there it goes. So that was pretty awesome. I went around twice. I sat way in the back and somewhere in the middle, but it's a short train and it goes kind of slow, so I didn't expect much out of it, but it was still a fun little ride. I wonder what people would think if they were riding this in the 1920s and then you take them and put them on something like El Toro or The Voyage. What would they do? <laughs> but I'm guessing that back in the day, this was like the epitome of like thrills. It's cool. It's cool to see that history, you know? How it used to be operated back in the day. There was even a sign that said, like, um, back in the day it was pay per ride, and they had signage in the station of where they had the pay booth, and they still had some of it there, like the old paint from back in the day. Um, also, Bear Tracks closed after I got in. Apparently, somebody uh, vomited, unfortunately. But. I've never seen a junior coaster that goes right over the entrance there. I thought that was pretty cool. Fun little ride. Fun little ride, this Jackrabbit. I think I might, I might be going on it a couple more times. I just, I hate to end the vlog here, but I think we have seen all the things that we want to see. I don't cover the water parks because that's weird. But this being one of the oldest roller coasters in one of the oldest parks in the country, is pretty dang cool. So for now guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.